Greetings and salutations, everybody. We are Pocket for World, and this is the Ashes of Oblivion. Apparently, it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Keep going. I'm sorry. Oh uh, yeah, this is uh, this is Ashes of Oblivion back again. Um, we're 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 gonna try to pick off right where we left off. I can't fucking talk right now. What the fuck? You got this. You're I didn't good. do my warm ups. We just rambled for 40 minutes before this. Um. <laughs> Sorry, I've had a hard day. This was a good laugh. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, our, our players are in quite a uh. bit of a predicament here. Uh, when we last left off, uh, old, old Joshy Poo. Uh, yes. Well, Jaro is uh, chilling, yes. chilling upstairs in the uh, in the neighboring ship of the the slowed captain, who's yet to reveal himself. Then we had Zereth, Raelius, and Orlando, all believing that everything's just hunky dory. When things are not quite that, in fact, they're the opposite. He had just, uh, the slowed captain had just sent some guards, or a guard, to uh, investigate the ship, looking for uh, the, the cheese wheels to see how many are, are left, and, and if, in fact, they can turn them back into bodies, get the bounty they've been looking for. <laughs> and that's where we're, where we're picking back up. To be fair, I, I did not think, uh, I, I'm still quite worried. We're back up on the ship now, and uh, my, my entire plan just did not pan out at all. Well, yeah, things have just been quiet up there for a while. Yeah, I'm starting to freak out, but uh, Zareth said that everything was probably fine, so... What makes you think that anyway? Zareth, did you hear me? What do you make you what makes you think that everything's hunky dory up there? I I thought they made the deal. Well, what did, what did what did Lajaro say to you? Lajaro just said Stay here and don't do anything stupid. Don't fight. I got this. And it seemed like he made sense, so I trusted him. If it came from the cat's mouth. I mean, listen, I'm fine here until anything weird happens, but, uh... I mean... Has anyone seen Alaric? I have not looked for Alaric. I haven't seen him either. All the commotion. I'm gonna go look for him. Alaric! Okay, no, no, that's already done. Uh, so, yeah. so yeah, with with a slight discussion and, and things not uh, really causing a panic, you, you all decide to kind of look look for Alaric. While while that's happening, can I gonna... uh, can I uh, actually can I like deploy Shit. scrap? Uh, yeah, for to to search for Alaric. No. I would like for Scrap to go try to climb on the side of the ship and, like, underneath the, like, plank and kind of, like, like, try to circumnavigate to see if anything's wrong to, like, scout for me a little bit. Okay. That, that works. Like, you, I'll, okay. I'll, yeah. Scrap, listen. You need to be very discreet, okay? Don't let them see you. And make sure the captain is okay, because I don't trust any of these people. Yeah. Apparently, I made your, I made scrap an R two unit. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, <laughs> that's fine. I can't uh, make like I didn't, I didn't. metal dinging noises with my mouth. Uh, I'm not that one fucking dude from uh, Police Academy. Michael Winslow. Anybody know who the fuck that Michael movie Winslow. is? Michael Winslow. Yeah. Anyway, okay, go ahead. Sorry, I'm done. So yeah, I'm you you send scrap out along there. Uh, Zerath, did you you said you just were just gonna look for Alaric? Yes. 
Okay. So yeah, we'll we'll let those two things happen, and we'll we'll cut back to Wajaro and uh, the captain. <coughs> so he is he's just sent off uh, his his guard to to investigate the ship and see how many cheese wheels are left. We issued a small threat to you <laughs> that uh, should should it be worth it, he'll he'll throw your all's bodies on on top of the the bounty. Uh, but other than that, he's he's remained relatively, relatively quiet. Um, I'm just gonna kind of. Um, I still got scarf in there with me, right? Yeah, you yeah. Uh, scarf is scarf is kind of standing behind you. You're you're seated in front of him. On right. This yeah. Coral altar desk thing. Uh, I want to do uh, a perception check on the room. And can I see if I can detect like any traps or like any type of defenses in the room? Uh, yeah. Okay. Is that just perception? Uh, if you're looking for traps, make it an investigation. Okay. That's a fourteen. Uh, fourteen. As you as you look around the room. I like said so you you don't notice too much uh, that would that would indicate there's any kind of uh, trap in here. Um, the the walls, like I said, there's a couple like carved out bookshelves with some some books lining them, and then there's his little resting area over in the the back right corner, and then just the kind of coral furniture that's you know kind of sprouting out of the ground that you all are seated at right now. Um, so no, you don't you don't see anything that would indicate there's a trap in here. Okay. So I'm just gonna kind of Lajaro is gonna just kind of look around the room and he just kind of shakes his head in approval. He's kind of looking at just the oddities and the collection of things in the room. Just kind of you know kind of gets impressed. So he he stands up and just kind of. Where do you think you're going? Ah, oh, I was just admiring your. Uh, your pictures and your wares here. I, I, I'm, I'm quite a collector, and I just, I, this is fascinating stuff. I've never seen it before. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have you uh, roll a. Give me, a, give me a D4. D4. Yeah. Okay. That's a four. <laughs> That's a four. Okay. Um. <clears throat> So uh, I'll, I'll I'll give you one thing to, with you. with your investigation check. I'll give you something you okay. can um, um, talk about. Uh, one of one of the things that is uh, uh, that is adorning the the shelves there is a uh, is what appears to be a uh, a tusk of some some kind uh, that is kind of mounted on like a a, a base. Okay, uh, I'm gonna kind of just like walk over to it I'm just like ah what what is this uh, this tusk where did you get this that was from my old hawker that I kept it was a fond ally sure to me the well and tasted delicious ah I see so you you trained a hawker all by yourself? Yes, I've... I've grown... apart from traditional slow... customs, but... I do still enjoy keeping things... by my side that can help. Ah, like your... whales, I take it? Those were borrowed, but served me well. Ah. If I may ask, who did you borrow them from? It's quite impressive. The slow necromancers are incredible craft people. They know how to write scrolls that are easily usable for anyone, even someone as magically uninclined as myself. Ah, I see. 
Very impressive. Your curiosity in this situation is commendable. Someone who still seeks to learn even with death at their doorstep. Ah, but everywhere we turn, death is there, is it not? Hmm, indeed. Ships don't have doorsteps, dumbass. Uh, so you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. You, uh, so that's, that's kind of kept him, um, at, at, at bay. Uh, he's, he's intrigued. Um, so we'll, we'll cut back to, uh, to the other group. Alaric! Where are you? I don't hear shit. You know what? I kind of miss the cabbage balls now. Well, that's fine, but... It, okay, hold on. Uh, is the dude actually, like, coming to inspect the cheese? Yeah. How's that, how's that going along? Has he already passed us? Like, what's going on with that? I just... Oh, no. Well, um... I mean... Uh, since, you know, since you beat me to it, I'm I'm, I'm sorry. I'm Damn gonna it. no no no. I'm gonna like kind of reward you with it because uh, as as you all were were doing doing your stuff, there was gonna be a perception check. But Raylius here is on top of shit, and and apparently, can, <laughs> uh, apparently here's here's uh, somebody crossing a plank with uh with scrap. I did, I did forget that you you sent scrap out. So, yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, so yeah, so so scrap can is, conveys to you. I, I don't know how, uh, but conveys to you that oh, fucking trouble. Beep boop beep boop. <laughs> I uh, I well, when it comes to scrap, I assumed that it's basically autonomous enough to like understand like, hey. <laughs> If they're trying to hurt him, you need to, like, get him out of that situation. But I don't know if it could, like, communicate right I back with me. Because I, I don't... Thought that was in the... I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. Um, we can play it. Well, okay. In D&D &D uh, terms, it probably can as a canon. So, I mean, I could have, like, another soul gem that can help it convey information if you'd want to, if you wanted to, like, I mean, that's that's that. fine by me, because, I mean, I, I, yeah, I figured I it kind of never... works as a familiar, too. Okay, like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's like, fine, yeah. Um, like, it just sends me, like, rudimentary data. Yeah. Uh, there's, uh... There is someone coming across the deck. Onto the ship? <clears throat> y yes. This feels uneasy. They should have been done by now. Yeah, no, I'm going to be honest. I uh, I don't trust a slowed as far as I could throw one, which isn't very far because they're fucking fat. Now, Orlando, is there anywhere on this ship that we can hide that we can get them by surprise? I mean, they already know we're here. We're just standing waving at them. No, I mean, like, they, they'll know... But they won't know where we are. I mean, specifically, the, the front uh, room up there, the captain's quarters, is probably your best bet. It's the most spacious. We need to right. go then. You th you think these they're coming to attack us now? Yes. It it. I just have a feeling that it's uneasy, and I. All right, let's go. Raelius yells out. So that the people don't get suspicious who are already standing on our deck that we're, like, leaving. Like, oh no! They've all drank too much seawater and they have the runs! You all better get down to the poop deck before anything horrible happens out here. I'm sorry, everyone. I've got to make sure they're okay. all the people that are staring at us on the deck, probably you wondering were on, why you were, we're on the second level of the ship. I didn't think we'd already gone down there that far. You, you I were, didn't. You were looking for Alan. Raelius well, surely didn't. Yeah, Raelius was And And nobody there. said that, like, uh, uh, God, I can't remember his name. Fuck. Uh, 
uh, Werebear. What, what's his name? Orlando. Orlando. Thank you. Orlando. Really didn't mention that. So I just assumed he did. That, that was my announcement of, like, making sure that they were like, ooh, we don't want to follow. That's so why I was so confused. Oh. I was like, yeah. don't announce yeah. what we're doing. Well, they can okay. see us wandering <laughs> off. Okay. Okay. No, that's to... that's that's fine. Uh, but we just we just hadn't clarified that. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, Zerath wants to, wants to go hide. Uh, Orlando was was kind of in agreement of that. Uh, you're now following All them right. down. Orlando, where are we gonna hide you? I uh, I mean, it's easy. Disguise yourself as a as a rug. What? Just lay on the floor. You want me to transform and lay on the floor? I don't know that you know that he's a werebear, personally. Look at him. Have you? I knew he was a werebear. Yeah, actually. I don't, yeah, he's I just like a big white dude right now. Yeah, he's just he's really tall. He's just guy. a big <laughs> tall dude. <laughs> transform and just lay on the floor. Or you can Tell you stand what, give, still. Give me, a, give me a perception check. That's right, it's about time to walk the dinosaur. <laughs> it's a bad 20. It's a bad 20. Alright, I guess you can... He's a magic it. man yeah. with a magic eye. You can see the air, hair coming out of his ears, I guess. <laughs> um, Go I stand in a corner like, and pretend to be taxidermy. Because Raelius doesn't know he's a werebear. Yeah, so that's, they're just talking about this now. That's an insult. To who I am. You think I would do that? Do you want to survive? I'm confused. I don't think they're attacking. I think they would send more than one person if they were attacking. I don't think they're just sending one person. He said there was only one crossing. That there was only one crossing. Still, I don't trust it. I'll get behind the door. You all hide, however. I... Oh. Uh, all right. Uh, I don't know, Rayleigh's is pretty small. It can probably yeah. fit somewhere. Yeah, Rayleigh's can fit like under the bed or some shit. Yeah, I'm hiding <laughs> under the bed with my pistol drawn. Yeah. It's ready to blast their I'm fucking hiding. ankles. <laughs> I'm hiding in the trees. No. Um. Uh, and Zerath in the... Uh, I don't know if you've ever, you know the, the commander's quarters. There's not much in there. Uh, it's a bed with a window over top of it. Uh, a desk a chest and a, a table with a lamp on it. So I'll hide under you... the desk. Okay. Tornado style. Uh <laughs> <laughs> so so you got like your hand your hand like tucked your head under your hands? I just meant under the under the desk. Oh, just hunkered under yeah. the desk. Okay. Um with, so, a, with a blast ready to go. Uh, so you two can give me a uh, per <laughs> perception check. Uh, that, 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 that's a big 16 for me. 16. When you said you two, for some reason my stupid 13. brain thought you were talking about Orlando and him. I don't know why you would have said you two when it was your character. Or Orlando rolled two. Uh, he did I, not yeah, roll I a just, two, he rolled as well. I, I got you, uh, T.O.O. But like my dumb brain was like, he doesn't mean me. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, yeah, so so every, everybody, everybody clears this. Uh, you all hear uh, a single pair of footsteps coming down down the stairs uh, the 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 footsteps are are still pretty far away so they're, they're near the back of the ship where the cheese room is you all are at the front but with the with the door uh, open uh, he can you know you can still hear his footsteps and he simply makes his way through through the the main deck there in the middle we should, we should get him by surprise. Trap him. What if they have, what if they have, what if they have him as a hostage? We have our hostage. 
Jacob, I need you to give me a stealth roll. <laughs> God damn it. How far would Scrap have made it by this point, by the way? Uh, I mean, it's... Uh, it's Like, if Scrap was already, like, under the thing, uh, un- under the... Uh, the, the, the ramp, I guess you would say, yeah? Yeah. And, and that was when the dude was crossing over. Then, like, would Scrap already be... Uh, he, he, he would probably be there at, like, where the most of the people are gathered, though. So wasn't that's... That a, wasn't that on our ship? That is a 16, my boy. Um, they are not on... No, they're, they're still on... I was going to say, because I was basically trying to get Scrap to, like, crawl on the side of our ship, on the bottom of that, and then over the side of the other ship to, like, a point where it could, like, yeah, get it's, around where it's, nobody it's was. Yeah, on the, it's on the, the other ship like the other at this hull? point. Yeah, would you want for it to go towards the front or the, the back of the ship? Um, I, basically in, just... In where, the direction of... Wherever, like, less people were, that it could kind of try to, like circumnavigate where he Okay, is. so it would it would be heading towards towards the back. Yeah. I mean, I assume that it again is like smart kind of on its own anyway because it's a Dwimmer automaton, but like Yeah, no. It's so yeah, it's it's made its way towards towards the back. And <clears throat> um the as it as it kind of gets towards the back, it uh, kind of like peeks over the uh, the, the, the wall of the, of the boat there, and it, it can sh- uh, see uh, roughly fourteen members of the crew. It can convey that to you, um, and it can convey that. Uh, here, give me. Uh, I guess give me a per- another perception check with with that so not adding any of your um like if you have pers- actually no you can add your shit to it uh, well, I, I was actually I... gonna can I just do my uh my uh my my casting modifier basically for it since it's magic yeah spell yeah that, that works uh that's an unnatural 20 uh, yeah, so it, and it can tell you, um, along with the 14 members of the crew up there, that it can see, like, into where the captain's quarters is there. Uh, but the only thing it can make out is two guards blocking the door. Uh, is there any route for it to kind of, uh,. Is there any way that it could like crawl around and not like be a, go around all the people basically? Cause uh, I, I mean, it can kind of crawl like omnidirectionally. So yeah, it'll 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 take it a minute to do it. Stealth, oh, that's fine. I just but yeah. yeah. Uh, can I can I do like a like a stealth with it with my modifier on there? See if it. Yeah. Uh, that is a eighteen. Yeah, that, that <clears throat> that's that's good. The, uh, the the crews they're they're very focused on um, <coughs> the captain's quarters. Okay, cool, cool. We can we can <clears throat> smash back. I just wanted to yeah. know how that was going. So yeah, it, it kind of uh, crawls over the wall, kind of plops down there, and kind of takes it uh, assessment of the situation and, and broadcasts that back to you. So, Zerath over here, you got a 16 on your stealth check, so he did not hear you. You're good. Um, but when uh, when you say that, um, Orlando goes, Shh, he doesn't even have his weapon drawn. Still, he's doing something, and it feels like something's going wrong. I mean, I have my weapon drawn. Scrap hasn't really given me the information that I need yet. It's kind of trying to be stealthy. I see it in this stone. Uh, so, does anybody want to look out and see 
Ah, uh, I mean, what I can. What he's yeah. up to. Uh, what do you want me to roll for that? Uh, uh, stealth? Do you want me to roll? Yes. I... Like a stealth to kind of poke mm. out and look at him? Yeah, stealth probably caught. makes more sense. Uh, okie dokie. Um, and my stealth is... Huh, not bad. All right. Uh, 19. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> um, yeah, so as, as you peek out, he has almost immediately gone straight into uh, the cheese room. He's going into the cheese room. See, I told you something's not right. <clears throat> Listen, it's, it's not actively looking for anyone. His weapon is not drawn. You have to know your prey as you're stalking them. You cannot act too quickly. What did he say the cheese was? Those are bodies. They are looking for the bodies. It doesn't feel right. Well, if they want the bodies, they can fucking have them. But I what have about no our captain? Well, what if they no. try to double cross and then take the cheese along with him? This is why it doesn't feel right. Well, listen. What's your, your, your I'm your plan then. I'm going to wait with Orlando, but also I have scrap. Hopefully, it will report back to us what's going on with them soon so we can know. Maybe there's not a soon. I'm going out there. I'm just going to freeze them. <laughs> I'm just going to go blatantly attack someone. Yeah, I'm going to freeze his head. All right. Uh, Raelius is going to pull out their black book and start, like, looking through it really fast. Like, oh, God, okay. <laughs> um, give me an arcana check. Because uh, I, I, I don't know what else I could possibly do right now. I feel like this is about to go very badly. Um, that is 19. Uh, yeah, so... As, I'm good at Arcana. <laughs> I'm good at Arcana. Uh, yeah, so... So, Scrap, um... Uh... Re replies back to you also with, uh... Everything seems peaceful. Alright. Listen. Scrap is telling me that they aren't. The captain doesn't seem to be any danger at all. They're just in that room talking. It doesn't matter. It just doesn't feel right. Can you just can you guys just trust me? If you don't trust me, I'm I don't doing, know you. I'm doing it anyway then. All right. Uh, I can see Zerath. You're yeah. You're still underneath the desk. You're underneath the the bed. You. Um, I feel like I'm near the door. I crawled out there to peek around and look at the dude. Uh, yeah. The uh, then actually, yeah. Give me another perception check. Oh, perfect. That's what I'm fucking horrible at. That's an eight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So you're you're. Uh, I'm arguing. <laughs> yeah, you're you're arguing. You, you, you don't see. Um, you see, yeah, we're like these behind the door. Um. Okay, cool. Um, so, Zereth, was you were saying you were just gonna do it? You're gonna do it regardless. I'm gonna go down the hall, find him in the cheese room, and just freeze him. Oh, at this point, Orlando is a, is a little bit uh, a little bit pissed <laughs> uh, at the whole at the whole goddamn situation, and goes. So you mean to tell me you're just going to like the like the whisper enunciating? <laughs> where you, <laughs> you're gonna tell me, yeah. So you're gonna tell me, and at this point he walks around the door yeah, that you're going to go shoot that man. He's right there, isn't he? He. We went back up on the top deck. Fuck! <laughs> Do you guys see? We missed it. I'm going after him. Oh, that was such a horrible attack, huh? 
We follow closely and stay quiet. Then you follow me. You don't get to tell uh, me what to do. And he put he pushes you to the, to the well. You were you were still under the under the desk. <laughs> so yeah, at the, at this point he he Orlando walks out the room. Uh, All right, Orlando. I'm st Orlando. Oh, oh. <laughs> Orlando. <laughs> Orlando Studios. <laughs> Orlando. I'm doing it anyway, and you're not stopping me. I'm he, going after he him. He has already exited the room, and you are still underneath. Oh the no! Desk I I get that. up and like. Okay, run. so you're following after him. I run past him, and I'm just <laughs> okay. I can. No, ask. I'm not saying like Jack Sparrow running. I'm like. Uh, well, at at the, oh, we're we're yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stop right there at at you two. Uh, uh, actually, uh. <laughs> Wait, Z Zerath, if you're really gonna do this, I can cast invisibility. Like cast invisibility, then. I, I just cast invisibility. Uh, yeah, cast yeah, we're, yeah. So at at this okay. point, <clears throat> we we can, we gotta go back to uh, uh, <clears throat> Majaro. <clears throat> uh, so so Ooh, the. I can technically make all three of us invisible if I use my last third level spell slot. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna so, do. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make us all invisible. Fuck it. <laughs> sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. I just. I did. I didn't realize that. Uh, Lajaro is is uh, awkwardly still still around the room. Uh, you you can give me another another D four. Is that three? <laughs> oh. All right, so uh, if you if you want to continue trying to just small talk with him, you, you can. Yeah, yeah. I just need just a few more moments. Um, so, oh, oh, go ahead. No, you know. Well, no, yeah, I was gonna I was gonna tell you uh, on the shelf shelf below mm -hmm. the, uh, the the tusk there. Uh, there is uh, a, uh, a what you can kind of make out to be like a medal. Like an award mm -hmm. of some kind. Okay. But that's all you can really tell about it. But it, you, like you said, you can kind of make out that it was. It's. It, it looks as as a merchant. It looks like something that. Like cultures would give okay. something as as a token of appreciation. Okay. All right. Uh. So, I'm I'm going to actually pick it up, and like walk over to him with it. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, th uh, Captain, this... Where did you get this piece from? This is... Where did you get this? This is amazing. Oh, yes. That was from my time in the war. Uh, what war? If you don't mind me asking. Well, it was... A lot didn't consider it a full-blown war, but... I was given it for acts of charity and research in aiding the Dunmers in their defense of a certain slave rebellion that happened a few years back. You don't say. Oh, yes, yes. Well, it's, since your time with us is likely short, so. Sure, I can explain to you a little bit about my friends here. He kind of gestures to his two guards. You see, necromancy is a dying trick. It's a hobby for some. The real future is science. It's the study of the elements and how it affects life and and all different sorts of things. These, these two, along with every other one out here, has been grown. You see, the the Dwemer found ways to clone, to grow, grow life out of nothing but fungus and some human scraps. And that's what these are, the remnants of. Very. That's... I've never been one... 
I've never been one for, for necromancy, but that's that's quite impressive. I uh, look, uh, and he kind of Lojaro kind of just you know his ears go down. He just looks defeated at this point. And the cheese makes sense now. Sorry, <laughs> go on. I just had a fucking moment over here. Uh, and he just he looks defeated. Uh, and he, he just kind of he just kind of holds his head a little bit and he's like captain uh, here and Clobble Captain Clobble what kind of name is that? oh captain I I was going to ask your name uh, and he he uh, hands the uh, the award back to him <clears throat> Yeah. You see you see him kind of kind of pause. Uh-huh. And and he actually reaches out for it. Okay. Um does he does he take? It? I mean, he, he's he's got little short stubby arms. <laughs> you got to you got to you got to close that gap. <laughs> right. So so I'm just going to kind of with my my hands behind my back just kind of in a little bow, you know, kind of like head down a little bit. Uh Captain Cobble, it will be a pleasure serving you. And I would like to do something. Okay. Can I hex blade a little like short sword behind my back? Yeah. Can I stab said slowed in the face with short sword? Uh and like a sneak attack kind of thing. Give me let's see. Okay, so <laughs> That's what uh, Captain Blubba Gumptious gets for coming, um, dude, every time coming along talk, like a room without a roof. You I, know what I'm saying? Every time he talks, it just sounds like Mitch McConnell to me. <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh, if only we were so lucky in real life. Uh, so, yeah, give me... Uh... Uh, these will both be an advantage because you're, like I said, you're, you're doing good. But give me uh, a stealth roll first. Nobody appreciated my joke, huh? Oh, fuck, I missed it. Slow got little stubby arms, and I said that's that's uh that's what he gets for coming along like a room without a roof. That's a nine on stealth. Did you roll with advantage? Oh no, because, my bad. Sorry. Because he's yeah. he's happy. He's Come he's along he's if been you feel he's been talking like a room to him. Without a roof. Uh, the the fucking dude who made that song. He's got little ass arms. All right, that's all. I... That was a very niche joke, I guess. I'm feeling airtime. <laughs> yeah. So that's Forget a 15. What, uh, he rolled a 6. Forget so, what that dude's name is. Uh, as as you you kind of bow forward with one the the little pendant forward, uh -huh. and your other one you said behind your back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as you do the. Uh, you kind of you feel the the energy of it kind of pulse up uh -huh. your the, your forearm there, and it's just perfectly silhouetted by your arm. Okay. Um, the the guards do not notice okay. for reasons that have not been explained yet. And the uh, yeah, you can uh, you you have you have your weapon ready and he is still okay. unaware of it okay so I, I would like to use can I use like a bonus action kind of thing or is that only in combat uh, I was going to yeah, do Hexblade's curse let's see I don't know if it's a well, what's okay so like your stealth roll was what just to make sure he didn't see it no the, the stealth roll was uh, to yeah to make sure that he didn't see the Blade being produced. Yeah. So I mean, you're not even in combat yet. So I guess. Yeah. No. So no, I can't. No. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah. No, you no, can, no, you can. can. Yeah. We're not. We're not in combat. Oh, okay. All right. So yeah, I would like to. Uh, I would like to use Hexblade's Curse, which uh, as a bonus action, choose one creature you can see within 30 feet of you. The target is cursed for one minute. The curse ends early if the target dies. Blah blah blah. blah. 
Uh, okay, you, yeah. you add a d6? You gain a bonus to damage rolls against the cursed target. The bonus equals your proficiency bonus. Okay, so and you add your proficiency to yep. your uh, damage rolls. Okay. okay. All right. Anything else? I, I know there's other stuff, but uh, it any says, other damage? Well, I mean, he said blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Well, oh, that yeah. just when it dies. Uh, <laughs> so, oh, when um, it dies, you get hit points, I think. Uh, that's something else. Uh, but any attack roll you make against the cursed target is a critical hit on a roll of 19 or 20. Ooh, okay. If the cursed target dies, you... Okay, yeah, you do regain hit points equal to your warlock level. Okay. okay. Uh, well, yeah, you can make an attack roll. Yeah, like you I can... said, blah, blah, blah. And can I use extra attack since I'm a ranger? Um, well, yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. Just trying to like stab the fuck out of the dude. Uh, no, for your weapon. Yeah, but it's what agility for short sword. I believe so. Well, the hit is it would be your yeah, agility you, you plus have, your modifier. Well, you have you have advantage on your attack. Too. Oh, okay. Your yeah, first right. attack, anyway. We'll see. We'll see well, how things go. Down here, because it should have your uh, nat twenty. That's a nat twenty. Oh fuck. <laughs> Okay. Um, well, damn, boy. Boy, you got a crit, boy. All right. So. Um, you added some salt to that slug. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> I'm going to salt the snake. <laughs> All right. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to think how to word this because I did not expect this to happen. Go figure. I had... <laughs> I had scrap on standby. The minute things went wrong, I was basically gonna be like, and scrap attack. Yeah, I was gonna start blasting. Yeah. Oh, that I did. I did prepare for that one, kind of. I was like, I was like, I gotta, I gotta think about how Cody's gonna use his little goddamn cannon. Um. Anywho, so so the the energy of the blade runs runs along your uh, your forearm there. Uh. And and his 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 little hand reaches up. Where were you, were you aiming anywhere in particular? I, I was just kind of going for like the head, I guess. Okay. Or whatever. Uh yeah. So as as his his hand reaches up, you do kind of you do kind of place the the pendant in his hand. And Captain Clobble, huh. uh, a, a character that has a has actually a decent little backstory. <laughs> that I've worked on <laughs> it gets a, a a glowing short sword straight through his face <laughs> um, I'm sorry that I, that story went nowhere <laughs> I've been there yeah uh, it's 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 good though. it's painful I I know well no 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 it it, the things happen. Things happen because uh, him dying was something that I uh, prepared for. Not like this, however. Not like this. Um. <laughs> Not like this. No. So the, as as he reaches reaches forward then to grab the pendant, the 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 energy blade pierces through his his relatively squishy uh, head in into his brain. And the look that that filled his face as he as he looked down on this award that he was he was proud of is now reduced to just eyes crossing outward and the and the mouth sloping down even further than it normally does. Just lay back and, and the, think of and the re the rest of his body movements ceasing as well. So as he just kind of tumbles over, mm -hmm. I imagine the award falls on the ground. Uh, yeah, yeah, kind of just clings to the to the coral floor. It's gonna kind of. Is it? Does it look breakable, or is it like solid, like a? Oh no, it's it's been carved out of uh, something. Okay. Like a like a looks like a sand dollar that's been like carved and shaped. I'm gonna take it. Okay. It looks like this slug got salted. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm gonna take that award and shove it in his eye socket. <laughs> oh my god! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Um. And as I do this, I'm gonna turn and look at the two guards. What are they doing? 
They have collapsed on the ground. Perfect. So and lo- that's where we're going to cut back to <laughs> to the rest of everybody. Also, I would like to I would like to correct something. Hmm. If I cast invisibility at third level, I can only do it for two people. I misread that at first. Is it, is it for every sec- two levels? A, no, it's a second level spell. So any uh, level okay. above second level, gotcha. I cast. I can only do two people. So instead, I'm just going to uh, cast invisibility on him, uh, on Zerith, and leave it at that. Then. Okay. Uh, so, I'll still right. be there with uh, Orlando. I guess chasing him that nobody else can see. So, so we're just running. <laughs> yeah. Um, so ev- everyone's run- running towards the uh, the deck there. As as you all do, uh, you hear a clutter coming down the stairs. Uh, and the body of the guard that was just investigating the cheese room has tumbled to uh, tumbled down the, the stairs and is and kind of lands at your feet and meets you as you all. <laughs> oh, get there. fuck! What the hell? I told you something's going on. We have to go on the other ship. Now! Xerath, Z- uh, I think you won. Orlando starts just kind of kicking the body. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck so you, Orlando. I was right. Something, Let's go. Something's going on for sure, yeah. So, uh, as as you all, you all climb the stairs, um, you can see that the, uh, the crew there have all collapsed on the, the top deck as well. By the nine, they're all zombies. I I know that he killed him because of scrap. Oh, by the way, everybody, uh, he uh, our our, da- our dashing captain here, uh, stabbed the slug man in the head. And and, and then he took a he d- a trophy and jammed it in his other eye, which I personally thought was a little bit much. But hey, whatever. Bravo. Let's go on the ship. Yeah, what's what's going on with them? Um, everybody, give me an inside check. Never give me at disadvantage. Well, that's perfect. Cause I already suck at that shit. Through <laughs> Jake. Sorry, I was scratching my <laughs> hand. Okay. I got a sixteen. I rolled with that. thirteen both fucking times, so it's a twelve. What are the chances of me rolling the exact same roll twice? All right. Uh, so one in forty. I, I suck I at statistics. Uh, the the ships um, are still not like anchored or anything. Well, yeah. <clears throat> Leave it at that. All right. You all continue on your way. And that's just a thought that occurs to all all of you. Um, so I'm guessing whatever was keeping their ship in place is no longer. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Both both of the ships are moving. <laughs> Did we ever find oh, uh, Alaric. A- Alaric? Did we ever find Alaric? No, I I thought you all had. No, no, I was uh, no. misremembering. Oh, no. He's, he's We're not leaving him if he's alive. We can't. Okay. Uh, and, uh, and, and Rayleigh's kind of like snaps and your invisibility fades off. It's like, like, if you approach him like that, he's probably going to think you're a ghost, so. Oh, God, I can't imagine. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, Captain. I, I, I mean, uh, really yells over the, I mean, we were already running over there, so. I, I didn't know if you all had ascended the, the steps We yet. did. Yeah, no, 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 I thought we were already well on our way, because we already saw that all the people had fallen and were dead. Yes, I'm an idiot, my bad. Uh. So yeah, so as as you uh, you approach the the other ship, you can say see that the the crew has has all collapsed yeah. on on the deck, and as you yell to Lajaro. Do I hear? Yeah, Captain. All right, I 
right, so I, I imagine I, I feel the boat shifts a little bit. Uh, yeah, you, you can feel that they're, they're moving okay. as well. All right, so uh, um, I'm going to uh, run out with Scarf in yes. tow. Yeah, Scarf's Hold on. behind you. Zerith, freeze, freeze the ramp to the boats together. All right. As I hear this, can I yell out, just drop, <clears throat> just drop the anchors. Yeah. And I search for the anchor on that boat. I don't know where the, I, I don't think Rayleigh knows where the anchor is on either of these boats. Toss me scarf. Just throw him at me. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> scarf is scarf is like four feet high, <laughs> like and, and he's solid. I don't know. That'd be a, kind of a difficult task. It's like throwing the largest how Swedish scarf, how meatball. <laughs> how fast can you run? <laughs> run, right? <laughs> no, scarf, stay here. <laughs> right, boss. All right. Um. Anyway, uh, what? Okay, first off. Free, freeze it, okay? Second, where is the anchor on this ship? Scarf, where's the anchor? Down on the bottom. Alright, I'm going down to the bottom. Freeze the fucking... There! Okay, uh, Rayleigh is gonna run to the bottom while you're freezing it. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Uh... It can't be that hard to release a fucking That's what anchor. I, I literally just said there, and I froze it. Froze oh, you gotta, you gotta roll for that. Fuck. Yeah, that's why I was. Yeah. All right. Oh, if, yeah I had yeah. A, I had a whole yeah. I was trying to be strategic about this. So what, what am I? Do I even need to roll anything? I'm running to the bottom. I do not. That was a ten. To like ten. release the the anchor. Am I? I mean, yeah, you can run down there and. Uh, Find yeah, it. I mean that's what I'm gonna do. That's why I was asking: Do I need to roll? Do I need to? Uh, what do I? No, not to not to run downstairs. Uh, the, uh, the 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 freezing ray. Uh, you you just kind of hit the top of the the ramp there. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little slippery. Damn it! Uh, uh, yeah. So uh, as as you're you're running running downstairs uh, or down on the on onto the bottom deck uh quick investigation check eight I thought you were good at intelligence shit oh wait oh, investigation mm-hmm. oh I'm sorry that was I, I thought I was thinking insight excuse me oh, thank no. you uh investigation uh yeah that's uh that's a 15 Okay. Uh, yeah, it, it's a Sorry. boat. It's a boat. You've been on a boat before. You can know where boats' anchors typically are located. Uh, and it's and it's right behind the the stairs uh, where you come down on the bottom ship, uh, bottom level of the ship. So you can yeah you can you can lower that. Uh yeah yeah Rayleigh's like identifies it, releases it. Okay, so uh so so the the anchor for for you all's ship has uh begun dropping. Mind you, the reason why I wanted them to freeze the fuckers is because we could probably use one to get the other one back to shore if they were frozen together. Like, it it wouldn't take that long to get us back to shore and it would keep this one from sinking because if this one's still taking on water, us dropping... Whatever, you know? It's okay. It's alright. Uh, so yeah, we'll we'll come back to uh, uh, Lajar. Did you have any? Uh, I, w- I was also trying to look for an anchor on that ship after oh, I on, yelled on their ship. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I'll have you do uh, an investigation check too. Okay. Try to find. It's uh... a nat one. Oh shit! I'm just stupefied. Uh, yeah, you're you're. Uh, there's a bunch of bodies at your feet. <laughs> if you're you if you're still on their ship, yeah. Don't it's, you have it's a second hard to beam? I do have a second beam. What? 
For the freezing ray. Oh, no. Damn it. No, freezing ray just gets more powerful. The only thing you get an extra beam with is Eldritch Blast. Oh, Can, I thought you yeah. used an extra beam at one point. Kenlojaro. Kenlojaro. Oh, sorry. I think I did. Uh, um, g g do your thing. I'm gonna look it up. You guys keep doing your thing. No, it was okay. when I was fixing the inside of the boat. Oh well, I was giving like everybody like two actions at that point. Shit. Yeah. Because you you weren't moving or anything. You were just down there, so that's why I was. So as Lojar is dumbfounded, uh, he's gonna. Turn. I mean, as soon as we come back to you, you can try again. Because it's we're just kind of going going around at this point. And he just kind of turns to Scarf and he starts scratching his head, just like, uh, Scarf, any idea where the, where the anchor might be? On this boat, no. Yeah, me neither. I guess you want to cut, cut right there for now. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, shit, who was next? I think Jacob was next. Yes. Uh, yeah, you, I mean, you can, you can try that again if you want to. You can do whatever. Don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> Snowflakes again? Sleet. Okay. <laughs> um Yeah, so uh let's see. So you found you found the anchor. What are you what are you doing after that? I I mean probably running back up to the, the top of the ship to see what the hell's going on with everybody else. Okay. Uh, um, would I would I notice that the other ship is still lurching forward because he hasn't found a damn thing? Uh, yeah, you can kind of feel it like where uh, the anchor has kind of is kind of caught for for you all, but the other one. So it's it's still shifting the boat, but it doesn't feel like it's moving. <laughs> We're just gonna go to Raelius yeah. is going to try to run across the deck uh, and notice that there is ice all over it uh, over the the the. Uh, yeah, let's call it a bridge. Um, can I like try to like slide across it, knowing full well that running across it's probably not a great idea? You know, like I'm going for I like mean, the first base. The fact that you thought about it just give me an acrobatics check, and I won't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, acrobatics. Uh, fifteen. Uh, yes, that's that's fine. Uh, that's yeah, relatively Rayleigh's, yeah. Graceful. Runs, sees it, slides like they're going into first base. Like a dirty dancing. Yeah, sure. I guess I never watched that movie. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so I just yeah, see Raylius. Just that's not yeah. dirty dancing. Uh, no, risky business. Risky business. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So really just slides across this <laughs> this plank here, towards uh, towards Scarf and and Lajaro. Yeah, their exposed leg is very cold. And but it's a little bit cold from sliding across that, but it's all right. So, uh, so as we're as we're standing there, I'll, I'll see Raelius come across. Raelius, help help me find the anchor. An anchor. Bleh. Bleh. Hey, hey. Sorry, Bleh. I'm losing my. Hey, <laughs> you're good. You're good. Uh, yeah, you want me to do another investigation? Uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, sixteen. Uh, yeah. You, you know boats, apparently. Apparently, yeah. Uh, apparently, that is my. Um, I didn't know that about myself, but here we are. Boating. Uh, yeah, you've seen you've seen this boat before, you know. Um, and I've seen this model <laughs> of boat before. Um, my family bought quite a few. So you, uh, you you do typically know that these uh, these ones have the anchors towards towards the front of the ship. Um. Yeah. So right. Well, yeah. Rayleigh's is just gonna dart for it then. Okay, so uh, you you go towards the the front of the ship, um, and there is a large spool where an anchor would be. <laughs> were there one on this ship? Raelius like just dead ass stops, skid <laughs> slot, and it's like there isn't an anchor. Okay, so as Lojaro hears this, his ears perk up, and he's just like, ah, all right. And he turns the scarf. 
Scarf, you and Raelius get back to the ship. Right, boss. Raelius, go with Scarf. I'll be right back. I, I, listen, I don't know if Scarf is going to make it across that bridge. That's your job. Get to I it. I don't. I need help. We don't have time. <laughs> I do do you have time to fucking try to cast another freezing ray and stick this shit together? And, uh, does he? I yeah, don't know. Yeah. At this point, yeah. I don't know how much. Ah, more, I don't know how much more harm could yeah, be done. Fuck! God damn it! <laughs> fuck! Damn it! Please! What's your modifier? Rolled a, you rolled a five, but what's your modifier? I mean, you, you might not need too high of a score to freeze a goddamn boat to another boat. My modifier is ten. Ten words. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. It's not um, two inanimate objects. I mean, I yeah, you've uh, you've you've frozen the, the ramp to the side of the ship. Okay, so. good. Enough. Yeah. Now, For now. After I said this, I would like to run back into the captain's quarters real quick. And what I'm doing is I'm searching for any, like, journals, <coughs> notebooks, diaries. In his? Yeah. And then, like, uh, the captain quarters area. Anything of value. Okay, so, um, yeah, on his, uh, on his desk there, there is a, uh, there is a... Uh, a book. Okay. Uh, that's that he he had been had been reading, uh, along with uh, a small small pouch. Okay. Uh, and uh, a small stack of soap. That makes no fucking sense, but okay. How big is this pouch? Um, he said small, right? Could I? Could I? Oh, okay. All right. How big's the soap? Uh, they're standard bars of soap. There's five of them. Okay. It's like a five pack of Irish mist. Yeah. Irish. Sl Slowish mist. Uh, so, I guess that I'll just take those then. Uh, yeah. I mean, if you if you want to look for for other stuff, that's those are the main things you see as you come. Okay. Around. If you want to take more time yeah. to look around, you can. Yeah. I just want to take a. Uh, yeah. Give me an investigation check. Okay. Irish spring. Ha. Uh, so that's a nat twenty. Okay. Um, so <laughs> as you're as you're, <laughs> <God damn it. laughs> as you're looking around, <clears throat> uh, you you glance over his resting area, and at first you're like, oh god, it is fucking animal. <laughs> like you're you're disgusted at first, and then your eyes kind of focus. Uh -huh. And back in the corner, uh, there is uh, there is an, another small uh, small book. Okay. That, but this one uh, appears to be kind of like it's two leather pieces with paper in the middle, and then holes punched through it and uh, tied together with uh, like leather straps. Okay. So like a bound book. Yeah. Handmade. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's that's back there. I'll, uh, I'll I'll grab for that real quick. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's some there's some other stuff, but it's from from your nothing merchant eyes, uh -huh. uh, nothing appears appears worth taking. Okay. All right. So in a in a huffy, uh, Lojaro will go ahead and walk back over to the Slode's body real quick and just, just spit on him. I love it. And and then just walk out, I guess. There is there any like clothing or anything? What on him? No, just like in the room, like any like jackets or hats. Mm, nothing really. Um, t tell you what, I'll give mm -hmm. you his. Uh, he had a he had a skin drink pouch that he carried on him. I'll um, take it. Yeah. Okay. No, no, like yeah, a water like, skin. Yeah, like a water, like a. I know, I know. It's just like it's a, you don't know what skin. Yeah, is, you don't though. know what skin. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So, so yeah, you can you can exit the room if you yeah. want to. Like, so yeah, there's um, probably nothing much 
else I'm, in there you want? I'm done with everything. I'll just kind of pocket everything up and uh, uh, head on back. Yeah. Raelius, did you want to help Scarf, or are you just going by yourself? Um, well, I mean, I'm going to try to help Scarf. Uh, I assume that Scrap has already kind of found its way back to me. Yeah, it's, um, it's kind of wandered back. But uh, a as I'm going to try to start helping Scarf across this frozen fucking bridge, I'm going to be like, Orlando! Orlando's not on the top deck. He is looking for Alaric. Okay. Um, is Zareth? Which side is Zareth on? I think Zareth, you're on your all's ship. Yeah. Yeah. Zareth. Yeah. Can you try to get to Orlando? Because if Scarf here falls off into the water, I cannot swim him back up. There is no possibility of that happening. I yelled down the into the deck. Um, Orlando! And uh, all right. And how am I? How am I helping Scarf across? Like how am I? What am I? I mean, uh, that was gonna leave that up to you. Uh, you can just gently you slide can, you him can, on the ice. You could try to ice, try to like, pick him up. You could try to toss him. You could try step to step in front of like, him and gently like pull Doogie, him. Doogie, my the character up. has a negative one in strength. I am not <laughs> picking him <laughs> up or throwing him. Hey, listen. He step in front of him. And like gently pull him onto the ice, and just like step back, kind of like you're moving furniture. All right, yeah, I'm gonna get behind him and start kind of like pushing him slowly across Shimmy the him. ice. Yeah, just trying my hardest to go slow and steady. <laughs> uh, yeah, acro acrobatic. Hating my fucking life. <laughs> Scarf, is there any way you can nat help 20. him? <laughs> That's what I get the fucking yeah. nat 20 on. Yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> you saved Scarf, though. Like, that's that's the main thing. You got... Just you, had a character building moment? Yeah. yeah sc God Scarf damn is... It. God damn it. Scooting this big fucking meatball across <laughs> the fucking bridge. It's I'm not fun. I'm just imagining... I'm aware it's not fun, Scarf. Are you replaceable? I don't even know. Fucking just... <laughs> just like... One quiet. might say so! <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so Rayleigh says getting, getting that across. Uh, uh, are, are you coming across now? No. So, um, I'd like to exit the captain's quarters. I would like to make note that I do have the scarf back. I didn't put it back on scarf because we, we left yeah. it... But yeah. uh, I do have the scarf. Okay. And I guess a cheese will. <laughs> anyway, that's beside the point. So um, as I get out to the deck and I see the situation with the, uh, the board, um, can I deduce that we're just going to kind of be going around in a circle for a minute? Or, uh, like, make sure that... Well, uh, you, uh, we'll do another, do another, I guess, insight... Or uh, I don't know. I I'm, guess, I'm trying I to guess, see if we've got some time. Okay, I guess we. Can I mean, do what that. we really probably need to do is raise anchor from the sh uh, from our ship, and use the intact ship to try and now that we're stuck together, get our ship to the shore. Unless you just don't care about this ship anymore. I I've got a plan. Just just bear with me now. I'm just giving you I'm, my I'm work I'm working on it. Okay. All right. I've, I had like a. If you I had all a want to plan together, y'all need to talk. You gotta. This is true, but everything's frantic and in the yeah, moment so, at the moment. So Rayleigh is trying to get scarf across a goddamn frozen bridge. Eighteen. Uh. So, like I said, the sh the ship is is moving, mm -hmm. but it's not uh, m moving the way like it's. Uh, imagine your your anchor is is the point of a pendulum. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And the ship, uh, the slowed ship, is kind of rocking. <laughs> like if like if here's the anchor, it's mm -hmm. kind of rocking back and forth like this, like 
being p almost pulled towards something. Like port, like pulled towards the ship. Well, no, no, no. Here's here's your all's anchor. Mm -hmm. Here's here's your ship, and then here's the other ship. Oh, it's, but it's like yeah. pulling away. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Um. Okay. So. Oh fuck me! This is gonna be fun. Uh, Zerath, uh, what, what do you got? Are you, you've, you've, I mean, you've kind of bound them together with, with ice. What, what do you got going on now? It's, it, he's up on the deck, right? I, I'm totally I'm, oblivious. Yeah. Okay. I'm helping, I'm helping Raelius move. Get scarf. scarf, scarf across it. Okay. Okay. All right. So as I see them get across, um. <laughs> Thank you. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to kind of yell out across to him. As I notice this weird, strange pool on this ship. Um, everyone, anyone that can do any fire damage, come over here now. We're going to sink this boat before we leave. I'll watch over Scarf. I... I... I, I mean, I, I can't do fire damage. Can y'all... <laughs> Contraption do any damage? It did pretty well on the whales. Well on the whales. Well it's on the electric. Whales. It does electric do do? damage. Just bring some torches over here. Uh, at at this point, you you all hear. Hey, I found him. Where's that coming I from? I run down. You, your character knows that Alaric can do fire damage. Oh, this is true. I, yeah. I did forget that. I run down to meet Orlando. Okay, the uh, it's it's coming from the uh, the first mate's cabin. Yep, I'm not on the ship, so I can't do anything. Yeah. No, I was staying in the first mate's cabin. Uh, well, you came like you came down the stairs. Okay. Uh, so yeah, as as you you come into the, the cabin, you see uh, Orlando kind of on the f on the floor on his knees at uh, Alaric's side, and Alaric is is laying there unresponsive. I reach down to Alaric and I just slap him across the face. Alaric, get up! What the hell are you doing? I'm trying to get him up. This is important. Uh, you don't think I've been trying that for the past five minutes? He is out cold. Do we have any cold water? A, he a healing magic wouldn't work on him. I don't know what's going on with him. Did you try healing magic? No, I'm just assuming that. Of course I tried healing magic! Well, that go, I mean, that throws out what uh, I had initially planned with using healing magic on him. Um, I, if... If, uh, if I've got Scarf on the other side already, then Rayleigh is going to, like, rush down there, too, to see what the hell's going on. Okay. There's more problems, just... <laughs> problems Scarf. after problems. Listen, after problems. Scarf, can you get down there on your own now? Sure thing, boss! All right. And then, yeah, just beelines it down there. Yeah, and Scarf just kind of waddles down to the, to the bottom deck. All right. Let's see what do, what do I have? Um, uh, can I use detect magic? On what? Yes. On Alaric. Yeah, yeah. yeah. On, Alaric. On Alaric. See. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see if it's magic doing this to him. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. You don't have to roll for detect magic. No. Yeah. No. no it I don't. just works. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Rayleigh's is gonna be like. Uh, okay. What's wrong with him? Uh, so yeah, uh, good good call on that. You you, whenever you cast the spell, you you detect that there is uh, that Alaric has somehow come into contact with uh, like the uh, the void, the forces of oblivion. Like that's what he that's what his he reeks of is is oh. oblivion. Oh. Uh. So what is it? What it? He. Uh... He's, he's come in contact with the, the forces of oblivion. How the hell? I just found him underneath the bed here. 
I mean, the forces of oblivion can get underneath beds. They like, kind of like, pop it's up like anywhere. The uh, no, uh, so can they pop up in the strangest places? What the hell could have done this then? Um. Well, Rayleigh's is gonna open up their black book because uh, that's their answer to everything. But yeah, uh, fair enough. Uh, and yeah, give me a give me an Arcana roll, and I'll I'll, I'll give you a little bit. Um, I yeah, that's that's like a like a fucking twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> fucking twenty five. Uh, yeah. Well, with a fucking twenty five. Um, yeah. So. Your your detect magic uh, kind of kind of hones in on on the source, uh, and it is down at uh, his his gut, his stomach. It's the goddamn cabbage balls. No, uh, uh, it, it does appear that he has he has eaten something. <sighs> this boy has eaten the cheese. something that leads to. This oh my god! It's the cheese that he ate, the cheese that he so he didn't suffocate. God damn it! Time to beat. Hmm. Orlando, um, ste Orlando, um, step on his stomach. Uh, Rayleigh is gonna shove their fingers down his throat. Uh, that works too. Okay. Like turn him on his side and shove his. Yeah. That's yeah. hot. Well, yeah, uh, yeah. I didn't. I didn't try that. Uh... You got fat fingers, buddy. Oh. Um. <laughs> do I make you roll for shoving your fingers down something? I, I mean, I can roll sleight of hand, I guess. But I don't really. <laughs> roll acrobatics. Uh. <laughs> no, I don't. I, I don't. I don't want. I don't want to do that. Yeah, you're. You, you had a high enough roll with Arcana. Uh, plus putting. Rolling for putting someone's fingers down your throat is just really fucking cringe, and I don't want to do it. <laughs> uh, Slide of so, hand. Let's see if you could steal his lunch. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, uh, he he does be begin kind of like uh, heaving when when you when you do that. Uh, Come on, Alaric, you can be like one of those twinks on Twitter. Let's go. <laughs> oh, Elder Scrolls Twitter. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> bulimia. So, uh, so yeah, as and and as you as you you do that, you, yes, he actually does begin kind of retching up uh, pieces of of the cheese. God damn it! Uh, and <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, I'm trying to think of how to phrase this in the most delicate way. Uh. Like I said, he's, he begins retching up pieces of, of the cheese, um, but it also appears that he is retching up uh, pieces of uh, <coughs> flesh as well. Uh, uh, what the fuck yeah. did you eat? Yeah, so Zero, you see this? Uh, do y'all want to give me a medicine roll? That's a nat one. I think he threw up on my hand. Yeah, yeah, he did. <gasps> it's a six. God damn it. Yeah, I gotta let Orlando. Mm -hmm. God damn, okay, I guess Orlando's seen some <laughs> shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, so as as he pukes on, on Derelius's hand, and you can react to that. Fuck. Anymore. Uh, uh, look, I mean, Rayleigh's yeah. is more concentrated on saving this idiot's <laughs> life, but they do note that that is disgusting. Uh, just when, filing that away when, for now. When that happens, uh, Orlando just kind of goes, That's human flesh. Allergate. Well, yeah, the, 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 the cheese are flesh atriarchs. Or atri yeah. Alaric said he just ate the cheese. He didn't say he ate any bodies. But the cheese is his bodies. And his stomach turned it into bodies? I don't know. Uh, it in fact did. Um, the Lord works in mysterious <laughs> ways. 
Yeah, he uh, he is he he continues retching up more cheese and human flesh mixed together. Isn't this a wonderful session, guys? <laughs> really, just like pats him on the back, holds his hair back. <laughs> just get it all out, buddy. You don't want prion disease. Just get it all out. <laughs> That's right. <sighs> Alaric, you didn't need any human flesh, did you? Oh, I don't, uh, I don't, uh, I don't he ate really... the cheese. Yeah, just, just the cheese, just the cheese. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, sorry. I, I, did I, did I hide, hide? Okay. You did until now. One might say you hid so well you almost died. Oh, well, okay, I'm glad I didn't know. It's not okay. Don't ever eat that cheese again. <sighs> well, at least he's... Just stick to cabbage balls. Glad you're not dead, kid. Orlando, now, with, with him still intact, appears to completely quit caring about the situation for, for some reason. Raelius uh, is wiping their hand off on... Uh, on, uh, uh, God damn, I just lost his name. I'm like, I, my, my eyes are like going crossed. Um, Alaric. Alaric, yeah, wiping their hand on Alaric. Okay. <laughs> I mean, he, he doesn't really, he doesn't really. I doubted sense. he would. I just wanted to make yeah. it clear that I wasn't going to be walking around with vomit hand. Well, yeah, now, now he's got vomit on top of his outfit that has sticks and twigs and things in it as well. Can I, can, can Lajara, like, get back to the ship real quick? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do I need to roll to traverse? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot you hadn't traversed it. Yeah. Give me, give me an acrobatics. It's an 11. Uh, yeah, 11. 11 is fine on there. Okay. Uh, you're, you're not as graceful as you'd like to be. All, all I want to do is I just want to run back down to where everyone's at. So, <laughs> I just, I guess I'll just run down and see everybody yeah everybody's coming gather around Alaric Orlando's coming coming out of the, the first mate's cabin and looks at you and goes uh it's, that's a but yeah, yeah you want to go in there it doesn't matter I need to talk to everyone immediately and I just kind of like swing the door open <laughs> everyone listen to me <coughs> I need help we need to grab anything off the ship that we can use to repair ours, and we burn this ship. It's being pulled back out somewhere else, and we need to burn it quickly. But what's pulling it? I'm not sure. I assume magic. Ah, right. Not a big string. All right. But anyway, when you guys are ready, we need to move. I don't know how long that frozen bridge is going to hold. All right, well, let's, let's go see what we can gather. And Orlando makes his way to the, to the top deck to yeah. the other ship. Yeah, I mean, Ray Lee's is okay. as well. Mm -hmm. I assume Zero is. Everybody listen to the captain, okay. Captain probably taking charge of his crew. It's a, it's I mean, I don't know a better way. idea. Huh? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, as as you all uh, kind of go to go to cross the, the ship and you start start looking around on the deck, of course, there's still the, the bodies of the, the crew are still strewn about. Um, and you begin begin searching for for uh, other things, but but one thing stands uh, pretty apparent here is as you you're, you're looking around, you look over the opposite side of of the slowed ship, the one that faces away from your old ship, uh, and, and it looks off off over towards uh, towards the sunset. Which is a which is a nice little moment of beauty before you look further down. And realize that the thing pulling this ship uh, is a giant torrential whirlpool on the other side of the ship. And that's where we'll end it. <laughs> All right, which is great because my dog just roused awake and started making a bunch of fucking noise. Oh, god damn! It never ends. You know, you'll keep getting into shit. No, this is, that's great. I, I really enjoyed... Uh, Captain Clobble's dead, though. Captain Clobble. 
And an entire crew of apparently zombies. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. He he said some things to Lajara, but Raelius doesn't know that. So. Yeah, I know. No, but I, as a player, things kind of are making, like... They're, they're adding up more. I realize it's the fucking cheese. The cheese. Things start starting to make sense. Uh, Raelius should be happy with some upcoming events, too. Um, now I know I yeah, am. But, yeah. This, is, uh, <laughs> this has been Ashes of Oblivion. The DM Doogie with, uh, with Josh, Cody, and Jacob, as always. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Hell yeah, we did it. You did it. Yeah. Good job. Good job, Josh. Good job, Captain Lojar. <laughs> yes. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll come back next time and see if uh, Captain Lojar can can save his ship that he was he was gifted from Shagora or uh, well any other number of outcomes that are unforeseeable because you all are f fucking wonderfully crazy. Yeah, I, I thought Raelius and Scrap were gonna have to do some John Wick shit. Yeah, I did, I did it not. Did, it did not pan out that way. I'll 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 be real here with you. Um, you made some really good fucking rolls because uh, Captain Clobble has the ability to teleport. Like a lot of Slodes can teleport. I I so yeah. You, I had one shot. Okay, I, I've been planning this ever yeah. since our last session. I was like, what am I gonna do to get out of this? I was like, well, if all else fails, fuck it. I'm gonna stab him in the face. Also, there were four items throughout his throughout his uh, office that you could look at and and see and two of them were tied to negative reactions and two of them were tied to positive reactions and you got the two that were positive <laughs> so he was completely like oh wow I might be wrong about this guy <laughs> sorry no I might be wrong about this guy <laughs> Well, as it turned out, you were wrong about being wrong yeah, about this guy. And he got stabbed in the fucking face. It's okay so. though. We have we have journals and diaries and books. Yeah, uh, yeah, those those things. <laughs> those things will come in come in handy too. Uh, All right. Yeah. But, but yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, everybody like, comment, subscribe. Uh, yeah. and, and Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, we or we listening. love you. We love you guys. Uh, That's right. I do love you. PSA, don't be a dick. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Just suck them. Um, <laughs> bye! <laughs>